Hi guys, I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm a bus here. I'm on the highway and Lee done left Galveston, Texas because it's a hurricane evacuation. I didn't find out to the last minute. People was calling me, telling, uh, checking on me. Well, I'm trying to evacuate, get the heck out of Dodge. So anyway, just heads up. If you know people who live in areas where they call it for evacuation, don't call them and tell them nothing unless it's at the beginning of the evacuation when you're just checking to see if they're trying to leave. And just try to just text them so that way they don't have to be stopping to answer the phone and, and you be guessing on who's calling. I don't recognize everybody's voice, especially if I don't talk to them all the time. So calling me is, is not helping me because I have to stop to answer the phone. I found out we had to get out by noon and it was already like 1030 when I found out. That's when they started sending out the emergency alerts. And then my neighbor reminded me about the car in the garage. And we we went and put the car in the garage at our downtown. So it's on one of the higher levels, so at least the car won't get flooded. It might blow away, but it won't get flooded. But anyways, I don't know where we'll end up, but we're at least out of the storm surge area of Galveston, Texas. They call for evacuation for Galveston. Uh, Port Bolivar and all of the Galveston County area to evacuate because of storm surge. So anyway, I'm in stuck in traffic right now by the Baybrook Mall area. Hopefully, we'll get out of this bad traffic soon and can go ahead and pass up Houston where it also floods a lot go where the hill country where hopefully we'll be out of the flood zone and then I can stop and uh, find a hotel in the area. There are plenty of at least cards to get me in a hotel. I cannot even use my free night because the free night is not available till tomorrow night and maybe points not available either but whatever long as I get somewhere to rest my head that's safe, I'm good. So anyway, guys, I'll be updating as I go. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but at least you're recording as it happening to me. Guys, I forgot to mention stuff like medications, phone chargers, that's also stuff you need to remember. Because if I would have remembered, I wouldn't have to stop off to get any phone charger. Because I had two phone chargers I left at home in the box next to my bed. But I just was so much in a hurry, I just plain forgot about it in the rush to just get out. Like I said, that's what happens when you get information hammered down from somebody who act like they don't care. I could have found out way earlier than the last minute and then I could have taken my time and get everything but next time if I'm here for a hurricane season I'll just go through my checklist and just have it all ready in a bag always ready to go and then I'll just have to go into the bag to get the medication and then it'll stay in that bag uh, anyway, just just my thoughts. Hi guys, I'm at the rest stop. <laughs> I'm by uh, a little bit past Huntsville, a hundred and something miles to Dallas. I'll be there in a couple of hours, hopefully. I tried to get a hotel room in Huntsville, but no can do, they were full up. So anyways, I'll be going on towards Dallas. Just checking in, updating, put it together in a little bit. Bye. Hey guys, I'm at Best Buy. 
I forgot my iPhone charger. So I stopped off to buy one, ended up getting the wrong one, but the little sales lady did help me to get the right one, which was the Lightning USB. I had a type C. But anyways, I used the restroom and I'll be on my way out of Houston in a minute. I'm back on the highway. Just left Best Buy. Other folks calling me on the phone, asking me about if I'm evacuating. Yeah, I'm evacuating. <laughs> they don't have to tell me twice to evacuate. But as a reminder for all you guys, for the future, including myself, you have to have a list, a checkoff list, so you'll always have what you need just in case. You have to grab a bag and go. And it's all of your important papers, all of your medications. Because I thought I was smart. I thought I had all my medications. I picked up a big old black bag that had my medication as well as my medicine that just came in the mail. But unfortunately, I found out about evacuating and who told me that we had to leave by 12 o'clock and it was already like 10.30 when I found out. And I forgot my glucophage. So now I told my doctor's office so hopefully they can I'll go ahead and give me some glucophage where I could pick it up in Conroe on the way. As I will go there and talk to the pharmacist. Hopefully they can give me a uh, loan of medication if they can't give me my full prescription. Because I only need enough for the evacuation, which is so far up to three days from now. Hopefully I can get my medication. And anyways, I'm just updating on this video. I'm still driving, but I am talking hands-free. And I'm checking all this, my surrounding areas. The highway is so crowded. It's better than the first time I evacuated for a hurricane, but it could be better. I hope one day they make it better. And I hope next time it's a hurricane evacuation, I'll be in Africa supplies, where it's not any hurricanes. But anyways, I'll update in a little bit. Hey family, I finally made it to uh, the evacuation area. <laughs> I'll leave it incognito to say what city it is, but it definitely is in a safe place, hopefully. Anyways, all right, so we're out. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Love y'all. Just want y'all to know that I'm fine and I'm away from the storm surge. Hopefully, my house will be there when I get back. Bye.